as one Harvard professor is raising the theory this may actually be a piece of alien technology. An engine burn just happened in deep space, but it wasn't one of ours. The Object 3i Atlas, a visitor from another star system, has just defied all the laws of physics for a comet. Famous Harvard physicist Avi Loeb has pointed out the serious holes in the official story. He says this isn't a rock, it's something far more advanced. Moving at a blistering 41 miles per second, this vessel, larger than Manhattan Island, is now on a direct intercept course with the Earth-Moon system, and we're only now discovering the truth. Interstellar Interceptor Many people are crazy about the idea of visitors from the stars, but what if the moment finally arrived and the authorities decided not to tell us? The story of 3i Atlas begins not with a bang, but with a quiet press release. When astronomers first spotted this behemoth entering our cosmic neighborhood, the official channels were quick to calm the public. NASA, the most trusted name in space exploration, labeled it a massive ancient comet. They gave us numbers meant to reassure us, stating it would remain over 150 million miles away, a distant curiosity and nothing more. The message was clear, nothing to see here, folks. Go on with your lives. But you see, not all things are what they seem. Behind the scenes, a very different picture was emerging and one man was about to blow the whole story wide open. That man is Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, a scientist who is no stranger to controversy, especially after his work on our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua. Loeb looked at the initial data for 3i Atlas and immediately saw what he called serious holes in the official story. The first and most glaring problem? This so-called comet had no tail. Comets are essentially giant, dirty snowballs. As they get closer to the sun, the heat vaporizes their ice and dust, creating a spectacular tail that can stretch for millions of miles. Yet as 3i Atlas barreled towards our sun, images from the Hubble telescope showed nothing. No tail, just the object itself and a faint ethereal glow that seemed to precede it. What many overlooked was that this phenomenon was, to put it mildly, unheard of. Comets don't glow from the front. Then there was the sheer size of the thing. Initial calculations were staggering. 3i Atlas was estimated to be at least 12 miles in diameter. That's bigger than Manhattan Island. To put that in perspective, Oumuamua was at most half a mile long. This new object was hundreds of times bigger. The odds of a random rock this massive just happening to wander into our solar system were astronomically low a statistical improbability that made scientists like Loeb raise an eyebrow. It was moving at a blistering 41 miles per second, nearly twice as fast as our fastest rockets, like the Parker Solar Probe. It was big, it was fast, and it wasn't behaving like any comet we'd ever seen. The official story was starting to look less like science and more like wishful thinking. The foundation was cracking, but the earthquake that would bring it all down was a tiny, almost imperceptible shift that most of the world completely missed. A deliberate change in its path. But that impossible course change was just the beginning of the revelations. A new ruler for the cosmos. So who is this man, Avi Loeb, who dares to question the word of NASA itself? To understand the gravity of the 3i Atlas situation, you have to understand the scientist at the center of it all. Loeb is not some fringe thinker. He's a tenured professor at Harvard University, a place not exactly known for radical ideas. But Loeb has a simple, powerful philosophy. Science should follow the evidence, no matter how uncomfortable the conclusion. He gained worldwide fame and a little bit of notoriety for his persistent claims that Oumuamua wasn't a nitrogen iceberg or a weird space rock, but was very likely an artifact of an extraterrestrial civilization, a piece of alien technology. He was largely dismissed by the mainstream, but the thing nobody tells you is that behind closed doors, his ideas were being taken very, very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that intelligence agencies began using a theoretical framework he developed, the Loeb scale. It's a simple scale from zero to 10 designed to rank celestial objects based on their likelihood of being technological in origin. A zero is something completely natural, like a plain old asteroid. A 10 is a confirmed piece of alien technology, something with made on Vulcan stamped on the side. When 3i Atlas was first detected, it was given a cautious score of four on this scale. Interesting, anomalous, but probably natural. But as the new data started pouring in, that number began to climb, fast. The first big jump came with the confirmation of its trajectory. 
The object's path was almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all the planets in our solar system orbit. For a random object flung out of another star system, the odds of achieving such a perfect alignment are about 1 in 500, a remarkable coincidence to say the least. But it gets stranger. Its calculated path was set to take it unusually close to Jupiter, then Mars, and then Venus. A grand tour of the solar system. The odds of a random trajectory allowing for so many close planetary flybys? A jaw-dropping one in 20,000. It was like a tourist hitting all the major landmarks on their first visit. And to top it all off, it was moving in a retrograde orbit, going against the flow of all the planets. What many overlooked is that this is the ideal path for a mothership wanting to deploy smaller probes as it can match the velocity of its targets with minimal energy. The score on the lobe scale ticked up to a 6. The coincidences were becoming too hard to ignore. But a statistical anomaly is one thing. A deliberate act of navigation is something else entirely. A message in metal. The moment everything changed was when multiple observatories confirmed the impossible. Three Eye Atlas had altered its course. It was a minute deviation, the kind that could have been dismissed as a measurement error. But it wasn't. The data was clear. This was what scientists call a controlled non-gravitational acceleration. In plain English, an engine burn. The object had fired some kind of propulsion system to deliberately change its path. It was no longer just flying through the solar system, it was navigating within it. The official story of a massive ancient comet was now officially dead. Comets don't have engines. This revelation, described in classified briefings, sent its rating on the lobe scale rocketing from a 6 to a 7, which denotes a highly probable technological origin with evidence of maneuvering. The dangerous lie was exposed. With the world's most powerful telescopes now locked onto this object, the secrets it held began to unravel, and each one was more shocking than the last. The faint glow preceding the object was resolved into faint unnatural energy signatures. Some analysts speculated it was a form of shield, or perhaps a byproduct of an exotic propulsion system we can't yet understand. The true bombshell came from the James Webb Space Telescope. When it analyzed the light reflecting off the object's surface, the results were, to put it mildly, impossible. This wasn't rock or ice, it was a crystalline metallic alloy that has no place in the natural universe. The analysis showed it possessed a tensile strength, its ability to resist being pulled apart millions of times greater than anything humanity can manufacture. A single thin sheet of this material could likely withstand a direct nuclear blast without a scratch. It was, for all intents and purposes, indestructible by our standards, a material born from a level of engineering that defies physics as we know it. But here's where the story goes completely off the rails. The material appeared to be a metamaterial, something that was actively reconfiguring itself on a quantum level. It was a smart metal changing its own properties in real time in response to its environment. It seemed to be repairing micrometeoroid impacts and adjusting its surface to better manage solar radiation. This was technology so far beyond us it might as well be magic. The object wasn't just a ship, it was a chameleon, a ghost in the machine that seemed technologically alive, and it held one final terrifying secret. Spurred by this discovery, scientists frantically went back and re-examined the old, faint data from Oumuamua. For years, they couldn't explain its strange signature, but now they had the key. And there it was, a faint but identical spectrographic match. It was the same material, the same unknown technology. And now we knew for sure that one of their ships had just pointed itself directly at our home. A Direct Intercept Course The new trajectory was undeniable. After its engine burn, 3i Atlas was no longer on a path to fly by Earth at a safe distance. The new calculations confirmed it was on a direct intercept course with the Earth-Moon system. This wasn't a passive object anymore, it was an active agent. Its destination was us. The question was no longer what is it, but what does it want? This is the point in the story where things get very real very fast. People watching this are probably wondering, if this is all true, why aren't alarms blaring? Why isn't this the only thing on the news? The thing is, how do you announce something like this? How do you tell the world that everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe was wrong and that a vessel of unimaginable power is on its way? You see, the implications are just too massive to process overnight. Are we missing a key detail? Is there a piece of the puzzle that changes everything? Or is this really happening? This is where the speculation has to begin because we are so far off the map of known science. 
The fact that this object and Oumuamua share a technological signature suggests a deliberate systematic process. Is this exploration, surveillance, or something else? The object's grand tour of the planets, its retrograde orbit, and now its final approach to Earth, it all feels methodical, calculated. It's not the behavior of a lost tourist, it's the behavior of an inspector making their final rounds. The new trajectory was undeniable. After its engine burn, 3i Atlas was no longer on a path to fly by Earth at a safe distance. The new calculations confirmed it was on a direct intercept course with the Earth-Moon system. This wasn't a passive object anymore, it was an active agent. Its destination was us. The question was no longer what is it, but what does it want? This is the point in the story where things get very real, very fast. People watching this are probably wondering, if this is all true, why isn't this the only thing on the news? The thing is, how do you tell 7 billion people that a vessel of unimaginable power is on its way without causing global panic? How do governments admit they have no control? You see, the implications are just too massive to process overnight. Is this really happening? This is where the speculation has to begin because we are so far off the map of known science. The fact that this object and Oumuamua share a technological signature suggests a deliberate systematic process. Oumuamua could have been the scout, the quiet observer that gathered data. Now 3i Atlas is the follow-up. Is this exploration, surveillance, or something else? The object's grand tour of the planets, its retrograde orbit, and now its final approach to Earth, it all feels methodical, calculated. It's not the behavior of a lost tourist, it's the behavior of an inspector making their final rounds. What many have overlooked in the panic and excitement is the sheer age this civilization must possess. The stars are incredibly far apart. A journey from a nearby star would take tens of thousands of years. We are potentially dealing with a culture that plans its moves on a time scale that makes our entire history look like the blink of an eye. They have been silent, patient, and incredibly advanced. Are we missing a key detail? Perhaps the intercept course isn't about us at all, but about a destination within our system that we simply can't see yet. We have to ask ourselves, are we ready for this? Is humanity prepared for a reality where we are not alone? The mystery is no longer in the stars, it is heading right for us. The ship is on its way. What do you think its mission is, and what should humanity's response be? Is this the beginning of a new chapter or the end of ours? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you want to stay updated on the biggest stories in the cosmos, make sure to like and subscribe.